the figure 3.1 shows now here you can see that this figure 3.1 shows a collision at very slow speed between two cars traveling along a straight road now you can see that there's a car a which is in front of the car b now he says that car b of mass 800 kilogram is moving with 2 meter per second and collides with car A of mass 1000 kilogram, which is stationary. Now, this car A is basically is at rest, stationary mean at rest. Then, after the collision, both cars travel in the same direction as the initial direction of car B because car B was coming from behind of the car A, so both the cars will be. Uh, attaining the same direction as that of car B. Now, after the collision, car A moves at 1.3 me 1 meter per second. Now, we have to show that. Show that the speed of car B after the collision is approximately 0 0.4 meter per second. This is the requirement of the question. Well, I told you that momentum before the collision must be equal to the momentum after the collision. This is the rule which you know that. So here I am writing the rule. Now you can see that momentum before the collision, both the cars. The car B has mass 800 kilogram is moving at 2 meter per second. Okay. So car B here, first of all, I am writing about car B which is having the mass of 800 kilogram and it is moving with a velocity of 2 meter per second because you know that to find out the momentum of a body, the mass into velocity. Now, uh, the other car, mean the car B is at, uh, sorry, car A is at rest. The mass of the car A is 1000 kg. Okay, you can see that the mass of the car a is 1000 kg. Now it is stationary, mean this is at rest, it means its velocity will be zero. Now after the collision, what is happening? You will have to see uh, after the collision, both cars travel in the same direction as the initial direction of car B. After the collision, car A moves at 1.3. Now the car A has the mass of 1000 kilogram and the car B has the car has the mass 800 uh, 800 kilogram 800 and we have to find out or show that the speed of car b after the collision suppose the speed of the car b say we are taking v as the speed of the car b after the collision plus the speed of the car a is now 1.3. Now here you can see that the speed of car A is 1.3 and the mass of the car A is 1000. So 1000 multiply 1.3. Now I am applying this. You can see that V is equal to 1600 minus 1300 over 800. So you got the answer, which is 0 0.375 meter per second. In the question, he was saying that approximately. So it is approximately 0 0.4. Okay. Now the next part of the same question. Now calculate the impulse exerted by car A on car B. You can write that impulse basically change in momentum change in momentum is called impulse so by calculations you can say that because initially the car was at rest car a was at rest so change what change comes so directly we can write down that thousand multiply by 1.3 so this is 1300 1300 what is the unit for impulse newton second so it is very important to mention the unit well so you can see that we have calculated the impulse in this case the last part state the impulse exerted by car b on car a 1300 newton second 
In this question, he says that the figure 3.1 shows a shooting competition where air rifles fire soft metal pellets at a distance target. When an air rifle is fired, it exerts an impulse of 0.019 Newton second on the pellet. Define impulse. You have defined the impulse because impulse is the change in momentum. And then the B part, the pellet has a mass of 1.1 into 10 raised to power minus 4 kg. Now you can see that the mass is already given in kilogram. No need to change the mass. If the mass were be in grams, then you would then you would have to change it into kilogram. Now it is already in kilogram. There is no need to change. We have to determine the speed with which the pellet leaves the rifle. I is impulse. The formula for impulse is I is equal to m v v for final velocity mass into initial velocity u. Initially the rifle was at rest. So you can see that impulse is also given. The impulse is 0 0.019 Newton second. So here I am applying 0 0.019 is equal to the mass. The mass of this pellet is 1.1 into 10 raised to power minus 4 into velocity v which is required to be found. Okay. Initially the mass of the pallet was at rest. So pallet was at zero. Uh, you know that impulse is change in momentum. I told you that impulse is the change in momentum. So I have applied the formula for impulse so that you must be aware of this formula. Now mass into velocity. Uh, this this factor will become zero. Okay, we are not going to mention this. Now from here, from the rest, we can have velocity is equal to 0 0.019 over 1.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. Okay, so you can solve it. It is almost 172.7 meter per second after the calculations. To complete figure 2.1 by writing the right hand column, the name of the quantity given by the product in the left hand column. Force. In the first column, you will have to write on the force. And force into time, you know that it is impulse. Okay, now this column has been filled. Now come to the B part. Let us move to the B part. You can see that in this part, figure 2.2 shows a man hitting a ball with a golf club. Now the ball has a mass of 0 0.046 kilogram. The golf club is, contact, is in contact with the ball for 5 into 10 is for 4 seconds. 10 is for minus 4 second and the ball leaves the golf club at a speed of 65 meter per second. Calculate the momentum of the ball as it leaves the golf club. You know that P is equal to P for momentum, mass into velocity and the mass is 0 0.046 kilogram and the velocity with which it, it is leaving 65. So you got the answer 3 kilogram meter per second or you can also write 3 newton second.